Hey guys, my name is Cameron and welcome back to my channel, Which Way to Wicked, where we talk about all things love, light, and especially tarot. So guys, today we are going to be finding out all about your next romantic encounter. We are going to be taking a look at who you are going to be sharing this connection with and what type of romantic connection or encounter this is going to be. So <laughs> um, we'll be finding out whether or not you'll just be flirting with them. We'll be finding out if it's more of a physical thing. Um, but without further ado, if you want to get into this reading as much as I do, then let's go ahead and take a look at your group picks, shall we? So for group number one, we have the servant card coming through. And then for group number two, we have the student card making an appearance. And last but not least, for group number three, we have the knight card coming through as well. So guys, I want you to go ahead and take a very big deep breath in. And now I want you to please let it out. And now I want you to close your eyes and as you close your eyes, I want you to focus on who this person is that you are going to be having a romantic encounter with and what that romantic encounter is going to entail. Now, whenever you feel ready, please open your eyes and whichever card your eyes lands on first then that my dear is going to be the reading for you today now if you feel called to more than one card here then definitely feel free to check out those extra messages as well and as always i will have the timestamps listed down in the description box below so without further ado let's go ahead and get into your reading today friends Hello, group one. So if you feel called to the servant card today, then welcome to this reading. As always, if you are new here, then please make sure to maybe like and subscribe to this channel because I post new videos every Monday and Friday and I would love to have you join this family. <laughs> Um, also, if you do happen to like this reading, if you vibe with my vibe, then I do have an option down below where you can go to my Cash App account and leave me a tip. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into your reading today. So with the Servant card coming through, before we started this video, I was pulling cards to represent your person who you are going to have this romantic encounter with and we got this card, right? And so I would definitely say first and firm, foremost that this person could work in customer service. If they do not work in customer service, then I think that they just thrive when it comes to the public, when it comes to really smoothing over any type of craziness or chaoticness. I just think that this person, I feel as though they have a very warm and sunny type of disposition and it's just really hard to be upset whenever you are next to this individual. They are just very kind and very charming. I'm also hearing that they might be a waiter or a waitress. Maybe you are a waiter or a waitress and you work with this person. So if that resonates, then definitely take that. Um, now, for some of you guys, you might be meeting this person whenever they are your waiter or waitress. That's definitely happened to me a few times. I found myself, um, going on dates with per people who were my waiters, <laughs> I actually made the first move on them, right? Because it's just easy to leave your name and number on the receipt and then never go back to that restaurant again if they don't message you back. <laughs> But anyways, um, y'all might resonate with that. Maybe that is something that 
has already happened to you. Maybe you've left your name and number on a receipt and you are waiting for this person to message you back. Um, but anyways, you guys, going off of that, I just think that overall this person whether or not they work in the service industry whether or not they work in customer service i just think when it comes to them i think that this is someone who delights in helping others this is someone who loves being there for people um they love to just perform acts of kindness on anyone on strangers even it just makes them happy and fills up their cup to be able to be there for others and make them happy so I definitely think that this person is very selfless very loving and they just love to share their kindness like it is confetti right and I just think that that is so so beautiful so sweet so yeah let's go ahead and get some extra messages here just to find out more about this person who is this person for group one spirit who is this person that they're going to be sharing this romantic encounter with let's get a couple cards from this deck here who is this person who is this person spirit okay who is this person spirit can we get some extra messages can we find out more about this person and then let's maybe get one more card who is this person let's take that one okay and now let's get one or two cards from this tarot deck group one spirit who is the person that group one is going to be sharing a romantic connection with next. Let's get a card to represent them, their energy. Ooh, that's perfect. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Oops. <laughs> so who is this person? So first of all, we have Elixir coming through. We have Hums a lot speaks with an accent, wears a meaningful accessory often, and then last but not least, we have the Knight of Swords. So with the Knight of Swords coming through, this is a very telling card. First of all, this tells us that your person could be an air sign, sun, moon, rising, or in Venus. So I'm talking about the signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Now, I'm also hearing that this is someone who is a great listener. Listener, excuse me. Um, I feel like this is someone who will always give their ear to anyone. And I'm, I'm honestly getting the idea that even though I feel like they can be quite a chatty Kathy when you get them started I think that this is someone who likes to more so listen to what other people are saying they are the type of people who finds themselves more often than not being on the quieter side um, but whenever you get them started on something that they are very passionate about, on something that they like to talk about, then I feel like they'll start talking more, okay? And you might not get them to be able to stop talking. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, like I was saying, I just think that this person is a great listener, which again, um, which again shows us why this person would be so good at customer service because someone who is great at customer service is someone who will actually listen to the customers and what they have to say and I think that this person has got that going on in spades. Um, not only do they listen to people but they genuinely seem like they care about what people have to say and I just think that that is really cool. So I just think this person honestly has very high emotional intelligence. Um, and I think that they are quite sympathetic to people and they're just always willing to listen to others. And I think that that's awesome. Now, I would also say that this person is very intelligent as well. They love to learn. This is someone who is always maybe reading up on articles or getting a book on things that they are interested in. I think that 
this is just someone who is like a sponge. They love to soak up knowledge wherever they go. And I just think that this person has so much to say about so many different things. Whenever you talk to this person, you are always learning new things. And this is just someone who always offers interesting anecdotes and interesting stories and just interesting facts about anything and everything. So that's very cool. I think that this person would probably be very good at trivia or something like that. Now we have Elixir coming through and I think that this is again just talking about how this person, this is someone who likes to be there for others. They like to listen to others and they like to serve others. And so I think that this is someone who is just like an Elixir to anyone. They are like a pure shot of sunshine to the soul. And so whenever people are around this person. They are just instantly energized. They instantly feel so much better. They have a pep in their step. So it's almost like wherever they go, they bring life into the room and they bring life into other people. Now we have hums a lot, so they could be a bit of a hummer. Okay. So we have speaks with an accent. So this person could be like English or they could be from like another country. Um, this could even talk about how maybe they just have like a different dialect, right? So what is dialect? That is just where, hopefully I'm explaining this right, <laughs> but it's just where you have different sayings and what not depending on where you're from. So for example, I am Southern to my core. I'm from Texas. So I say y'all all the time. Now, if you're from the Northern side of the United States, I believe they say you all. Um, I know, I think out in Maine, instead of saying soda, they say pop. So yeah, this could be talking about that. Maybe this person is just from a different part of the country or whatnot. And so it causes them to have different sayings that they use. Um, that's just different from everyone else and different from the area that they are currently residing in. Now, we also have wears a meaningful accessory often. So yeah, they could wear like a necklace or a bracelet or something that is just very meaningful and significant to them. So yeah, you guys, at the end of the day, that's what I'm seeing so far. I do think in regards to your person's looks, I feel like they are going to have an olive skin tone or maybe even a darker pigment. They could have a lot of melanin. So they could be a beautiful African American individual. Okay. Okay, um, now we also have, you know, I might hazard a guess to say that this person, since we have that they speak with an accent here, and I was saying that they could be from a certain country, this person might be like Nigerian. Um, this person might be um, from Kenya. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I am... <laughs> I do not look at the map ever, so I'm very, very horrible when it comes to different regions of the world. So I'm not sure. I think Kenya, there's Kenya and then there's Nigeria. So you could be Kenyan or something and then you could be Nigerian. I don't know. You guys, I'm so sorry. Please don't unfollow me or unsubscribe for me because of the fact that I'm so bad when it comes to that. <laughs> um, hopefully y'all can clarify that down below in the comments because I'm silly. But anyways, y'all get what I'm saying, right? Um, but anyways, going off of that, I definitely think they can have darker skin, darker hair for sure. Um, and I see them even having very dark eyes as well. But for some of you guys, they could have... Um, lighter eyes too. I just think there's something about their eyes that's very beautiful. I think that they just have a very piercing stare and whenever they look at you, you just feel like stuck in their, in their orbit and you feel stuck in their web of just beautiful eyes, right? <laughs> but anyways, that's what I'm seeing so far. Let's go ahead and move on and let's find out what exactly this romantic encounter is going to entail. So will this just be a game of flirting, playful flirting? Will these people actually be like going on a date together? Or is this just going to be something that's a little bit more physical? Or are they just going to sleep together? Let's see what's going to happen here for group one. So we have that. Oh, okay. Those were a couple cards. Okay, you know what? I don't want to take both of them. So let's just see 
what wants to come through we'll take that one okay so let's get another card here for group one okay so we have a two cards that were kind of stuck together i'm just gonna or no three cards actually i'm just gonna take the one that's looking at us and put the other cards back in the deck like so let's get a card from this deck spirit for group one what is this next romantic encounter going to entail for group one let's take that card and then last but not least let's get one or two tarot cards thank you what is this next romantic encounter going to entail spirit next romantic encounter there we go okay so let's see what is coming through Okay. Hmm. So first of all, we have healing family issues coming through and it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents very soon. And it says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. We've got commitments coming through. Communication. King of Cups and the magician so i do think that i want to go ahead and clarify this commitments card coming through we clarify what this is representing for commitments we clarify this card further what is this next romantic connection going to encounter or going to be like excuse me Ooh, we have the six of cups coming through for the back of the deck energy okay and we have the Ace of Wands. Interesting. Okay. Alrighty. Oops. So, first of all, with the King of Cups coming through, you could be a water sign or your person could be a water sign as well. So I'm talking about the signs, um, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Now, the first thing that needs to be said here, just take it as it resonates, since we have commitments and the Six of Cups coming through, I feel like for some of you guys, this could be somebody who you have been in a relationship with before and with the Ace of Wands coming through, you could be, you guys could be breathing life back into this connection with communication coming through. Y'all might end up just having more communication than you were having previously with the king of cups making an appearance this makes me think of someone offering their cup to someone if you look at him he's literally holding a cup so i feel like somebody either you or your person might be just trying to shoot their shot with the other um they might be sending you or them might be sending a text to the other. You guys might be trying to just get back into contact. And I think as this happens, I see you guys trying to communicate, resolve any type of issues that you may have had before. And I see you guys just trying to work on this connection. And I see you guys trying to just maybe get back together and see what happens from there or if y'all aren't getting back together y'all are y'all are at least going to start talking to each other again maybe go on a couple dates and just see what happens from there okay now for others of you the other message that i'm seeing here is that this might be a completely new person this might be someone you've never met before but at the end of the day you might already have your, you might already be committed to someone. But for a lot of you guys, I don't see you guys being in an actual relationship with the person, but I see, I see your heart still being stuck on them. So I want to make this clear. You could be the one that is stuck on someone here from the past. You could be the one who hasn't moved on from a certain someone, or this could be representing 
your person who you are going to be meeting, uh, this person who you are going to be talking to, they might already or still be stuck on someone from the past or have their mind um, just always enraptured by this person here. But whatever that may be, I see you guys talking to each other and just having a really great time just getting to know one another whether this is the first time you're meeting or you guys have already been together and you're just getting to know each other again um i see you guys just having fun and really enjoying yourselves and what's interesting about this is that i don't think you guys are going to be very physical i don't see this being a very physical connection at least not right away um what i'm seeing right now is that you guys are going to really spend a lot of time talking to each other having this great communication and just feeling each other out i see you guys just taking your time and talking about your feelings and talking about everything under the sun and just exploring each other and then maybe 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 exploring the exploring what a future with each other might be so yeah i definitely think for a lot of you guys your next romantic encounter is going to be with someone who could possibly end up becoming your boyfriend or girlfriend your next boo thing okay i don't see this person being someone who you're just going to have like a hot and heavy fling with no, like I see this person being someone who is interested in taking this connection to the next step. I see this being someone who is interested in having a relationship with you. This is something that is definitely more serious and it has the potential to become something very, very beautiful. So I also think with very soon coming in that this is just what it's saying you're going to be meeting this person or hearing from this person very soon and i just see you guys again spending a lot of time talking to each other and i see you guys exploring what might happen from there so yeah at the end of the day that is what i'm seeing for you I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a really big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you stop by this side of TerraTube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much and I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your day, friends. Mwah. Bye. Hey guys, my name is Cameron and if you felt called to the student card today, then hey, hello group two. I'm so happy to have you here. Now, if this is your first time stopping by my channel today, then please make sure to give this video a really big like if you like it and maybe subscribe so that we can hang out some more. Now, if you do like my vibe, if you do think that this reading resonates, then I do have where you can tip me down below on my Cash App account. And you don't have to do that, but that would just be so incredible. And I thank you in advance if you do decide to do that. But anyways, let's go ahead and start talking about this card. So we have these students coming through and whenever I was pulling the group picks today I was asking spirit to give us an a card to represent like your person's personality and with the student card coming through I'm definitely seeing that this is someone who loves to learn and I feel like this is someone who's very humble about it as well so I feel like this person is is very intelligent i think that they know a lot about so many different things under the sun but at the end of the day no matter what they learn no matter how much they know they could literally be a genius they could be like einstein and yet they are so humble about it and they have so much humility and so i think that that is just so cool and i love that for you guys and for this person now i'm also getting the idea that this person could be a student and so you might be a student as well and 
and maybe that's how you guys meet or this is also giving me the impression that maybe this person um, might be a bit younger than you just because when I think of a student I think of someone who is a little bit younger but if that's not the case if this person is older this could be it could be that maybe this person is deciding to go back to school um, after already having an established career so that could be uh, that could resonate for you guys in some way um, it could be that maybe they're deciding to give up their high-flying career as a I don't know CEO or as a teacher or whatever and maybe they're deciding to pick up a new trade or something like that so yeah that's also coming through um, now with this person holding a book here I just feel like this might be someone who really likes to read they might they might be a big a, a bit of a bookworm I'm also seeing with this tree coming through I feel like this person is very grounded this is someone who just feels very stable they feel very reliable and I think that people just feel very safe whenever they are around this person your person and I definitely think that going off of that again people just feel like they are safe next to them and I just think that that's very very sweet to see but yeah anyways that's what i'm seeing so far oh i am picking up on some earth energy from this person so they could be an earth sign sun and rising or in venus so i am talking about these signs capricorn taurus virgo but let's go ahead and see i don't know why i was messing with this deck this is literally the deck that i just used so i'm gonna put that back right there let's get a card from this deck shall we spirit can we get a card to represent group two's next romantic encounter will you tell us who this person is what their personality might be like will you please give us an idea as to who this individual is spirit for group two group two's person so we have two cards coming through here but i feel like ugh, this, they were just stuck together, so I'm just going to take the one that's looking at us right here. Let's get a couple more cards, please. A couple more cards. We have three cards stuck together. We're just going to take this one, put those back in the deck, and let's get one more card spirit for group two. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I definitely think this person could be an earth sign. This card is, co is coming through to say is known to be a sarcastic, is known to be sarcastic often. That is a huge like earth sign trait. Earth signs are very sarcastic all the time. Um, so yeah, I definitely feel like your person could be an earth sign. But let's see what else wants to come through. I'm definitely picking up on more so Capricorn energy because every Capricorn that I've ever known is just really, really good at that dry, sarcastic humor. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> oh my goodness, there is so much earth energy coming through here, you guys. We have the Page of Pentacles coming through and this literally represents earth energy so yeah definite um earth sign for sure um now with the with the page of pentacles coming through this is again just re-establishing and reiterating what i was saying because the page of pentacles talks about being at the very beginning of a journey here and so they could be starting over when it comes to their finances, when it comes to their uh, career, okay? And so that is definitely something big that is coming through here. Now this also makes me think about someone who is, again, on the younger side. So just take as it resin take it as it resonates your person can either be at a new journey in their life when it comes to the business career side of things or they could just be very young in general this person could be a lot younger than you there could be an age gap coming through okay and this person can be young and they could be the beginning of a journey here maybe they just graduated from college and so they are starting to go on this journey of exploring their major and seeing what jobs they can get from that right so yeah just take it as it resonates now we have spider 
coming through. We've got the Eight of Wands. So who is this person? Who is this person? I definitely feel like at the time that you meet this individual, I think that they are going to be feeling quite overwhelmed. They're going to be feeling like they are stuck in some type of situation here. I just think that things are going to be moving very quickly for them and they are just trying to keep up with what is happening here. Okay. So it could be that again, they're at this beginning of some type of new journey here. Maybe it's been a long time that they've uh, maybe it's been a long time since they've been in school and so all of a sudden they're learning all these new things and it's just a lot to wrap your head around um but yeah i just think that at the end of the at the end of the day life is just going to be moving very quickly for them and they're just trying to keep up with it and they're trying to keep a good keep a good vibe and keep a good type of energy as they are going through this now again we have the the card that says they're known for being sarcastic so yeah they could be quite sarcastic you could enjoy their humor um we have the card has a severe allergy so they could be allergic to something like peanuts or something else this could also just this also makes me think of just asthma so maybe your person has asthma um and then we also have the card spends their money quickly so maybe this is someone who once they have their hands on the bills they go crazy with it they're a big spender okay so maybe that is what is going on with the eight of wands coming through here maybe they are just feeling stuck when it comes to their finances maybe this is someone who wants to be able to become more responsible when it comes to this side of things and the thing is is that with the student card coming through i was saying before how they feel like someone who you can rely on they feel like someone who is very safe and who is smart and so i think that they have the capacity to be able to get better with their finances i just think that this is something that they need to work on and i feel like whenever you are meeting them i think that they're getting to a point where they want to work on this and they want to become more better with their finances and more fiscally responsible okay but anyways at the end of the day with the page of pentacles coming through it's safe to say that this is someone who is very determined this is someone who's very patient as well when it comes to going after their dreams and attaining their goals and so i definitely think that you are going to like that side to them you're gonna like that um determined energy that they seem to have and i just think you're gonna like it so yeah you guys that is what i'm seeing so far when it comes to your person's personality let's move on and see what kind of connection you are going to be having with this person what type of connection is this going to be this romantic encounter will you tell us more about this romantic encounter spirit are they just going to be flirting with each other are they going to be getting more physical is this going to be someone who they might be thinking about having a relationship with? Um, oh, gosh, guys, all these cards are like flying out. So I'm going to take that card because it landed on the side and it was just one. So I feel like that one wanted to be the one. Um, let's get another card here for group two spirit for group two. OK, two cards are coming through. We'll take that. OK. Let's get a card right here, Spirit. Group two. Group two. What is this romantic encounter going to entail for group two? And then let's get one more card. Sorry, you guys. My nose is like so itchy. I don't know why. Maybe it's just my makeup that I'm wearing. But let's see. Alrighty, you guys. Wow. This is beautiful. 
So first of all, we have the card, it is safe for you to love. So open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. We have messages coming through with spirits. We have sacred connection with the feather. We have strength renewed. And last but not least, we have the queen of pentacles. So again, we have so much earth energy coming through within this reading today. Now, I feel like for some of you guys, you guys, you and your person might both be earth signs or maybe you have like an earth sign somewhere. Uh, like you might have that like heavily within your chart. So you may not be an earth sign yourself. Your person may not be like an earth sign when it comes to their sun, main sun sign, but they might have that heavily within their chart somewhere. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like that is coming through. Now, first of all, this connection is going to be beautiful. I feel like with spirits and messages coming through, I think that you are going to feel, you and your person are going to feel as though something divine was leading you guys to each other. You guys are going to feel like the angels, the spirits, God, whatever it was, fate had their hand at play when it came to bringing you guys together in the same room at the same time. I think that you guys instantly are going to feel a very strong connection with each other, with the sacred connection coming through. It's almost going to be like from the second you guys look at each other, y'all are going to be like, oh, or whoa. <laughs> it might be that you guys just find each other very attractive. You guys just instantly you're going to look at them and be like, yeah, like that could be my person for sure. But it's just going to feel, you're going to feel a ma magnetic, magnetic pull to each other. And y'all are going to be like thinking to each other, like, wow, God must have led them to me. The spirits must have led us to each other. They must have had their hand at play here. And I think that from the second you guys meet each other, y'all are going to feel safe. You guys are going to feel like this is someone who y'all can give your heart to. And I think that that's very lovely to see because with the Strength Renewed card coming through, I feel like for either one or both of you guys, you may have had your heart broken quite a few times. You may have even found yourself like giving up on love altogether and just deciding, to be like a cat person for the rest of your life or to be just an eternal bachelor forever because men suck right <laughs> but I just feel like with the strength renewed card coming through from the moment you guys meet and start talking to each other y'all are going to feel like this is someone y'all can trust and y'all are going to feel like it is just safe to be in each other's presence and with the queen of pentacles coming through i do want to say here that i feel like this connection is going to be one that moves very slowly i don't see you guys instantly falling into each other's beds and, and having a um fling i don't see you guys even going on a date just like that instead i think that you guys are really going to take your time and get to know each other you guys are going to be very patient with each other and i think the underlining meaning of this is that you guys are just going to know that this is y'all's person and so y'all aren't in a rush with anything because y'all y'all aren't in a rush with each other because y'all are going to be thinking why rush forever i'm i'm so serious about this person this is who i want to be with forever why do i need to rush anything let's take our time and really get to know each other so i see you guys really being friends first and building a strong connection from this friendship and then i see you guys really just taking it slow as y'all decide to start dating one another and then just having things bloom and blossom from there. So I think that that is so beautiful. And it is worth mentioning here, since there is a lot of earth energy coming through, I think that you guys might either be meeting at school or you guys might be meeting through y'all's job here or something like that. But again, it could be maybe y'all guys just meet randomly and y'all just end up just taking your time and getting to know each other and I'll just go from there. So just take it as it resonates, but that was worth mentioning as well. But 
yeah you guys that is what I'm seeing for you today I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a really big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you stop by the side of terror to begin sometime okay so I love you all so much and I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day friends Mwah. Bye. Hello, group three. So if you felt called to this night card today, then hey, hello, my name is Cameron and welcome to your reading today. So the first thing that I want to say is that if you are new here, then hello. Um, if you uh, like my vibe, if you end up liking this reading, then please make sure to give this video a big, a big old like and to consider subscribing as well. Now, I do have an option down below where you could go to my cash app there's a link to it and if you feel called to then please uh give me a little bit of a tip that would mean so much to me but if not that's okay I love y'all so much and I'm so grateful to even be able to have this platform with you guys but anyways let's go ahead and talk about this card because I know y'all are excited to get into that so whenever I was pulling these cards for you guys for the group picks I was asking spirit to give us an idea as to what your person's personality is going to be like with the night card coming through it is safe to say that this is someone who loves to help people and they love to save people I think that this is someone who just is very protective of their friends and their family members and they're even protective of just random strangers on the street they just kind of fancy themselves a hero and they just love to be there for others and I think that that's very very sweet I think that this is also someone who's very loyal I think that this is someone who is very honorable as well I really feel them see them having like very good manners and I think that their manners and their charm is going to be something that just sweeps you off of your feet and yeah, I'm also seeing that they might be very romantic as well, which is fun to see too. So yeah, you're just going to feel very safe around this person. I think that everyone feels safe with them, but you especially are going to feel very safe around them and you're going to feel just very at ease, okay? So that's really nice to see. Let's go ahead and get some extra messages here for group three can you tell us who their who this person is their next romantic encounter who is this person will you give us some more information on them on their personality spirit okay let's get a few cards from this deck spirit for group three let's get some cards please for group three group three Oh my goodness okay that was a lot of cards I'm gonna put that back in the deck because we just want one two or three cards to come through there we go there's two cards let's get one more card please spirit group three let's take that one alrighty let's get a card from this deck for group three there we go let's get maybe one more card please group three can we get a card to represent their personality okay so we have Emily Dickinson with the soul coming through we've got the eight of swords the high priestess we've got met you more than one year ago Ooh, that's interesting we've got your first kiss will be within one year from now and then last but not least, we have the card called you the other night. Wow. So this is a very specific message that is coming through. Now, I only think that this certain message is going to be for maybe one or two of you guys, but your next romantic encounter could be someone who you have known already for quite some time. And this person could have called you the other night. So just think about who you were talking to the other night and know that that person could definitely be or is your next romantic encounter um so yeah 
just take it as it resonates. Now, for others of you, with this card coming through, this could be someone who you have already met, okay? So you could already know this person. Um, now, I'm also getting the idea that for some of you guys, this could even just be representing that maybe whenever you meet this person, you are going to feel as though you already know them. There might be a sense of like deja vu whenever you meet them. Maybe they remind you of someone who you knew from your past or... Um, Maybe they remind you of a celebrity who you've grown up watching, but there is this like sense of nostalgia whenever you meet them, okay? So just take whatever resonates for you. Um, take what message you feel like was meant for you. Again, this is a very general reading, so just just know that there are so many different messages coming through for so many different people but the main thing that i'm seeing about this person is that i feel like this is someone who is a lot more on the quieter side i think that they are very introspective and they are someone who always keeps more to themselves okay guys I'm sorry about that. My dog is barking a lot outside, so please excuse that. But anyways, this is just someone who's very introspective. They are more shy, and I feel like this is someone who tends to be more of a wallflower, okay? I'm also seeing that this is also someone who's very mysterious as well. They have a very mysterious quality about them. Um, I'm also seeing that they could be very spiritual as well, so maybe they're... Um, maybe they have a certain religion and their faith is very important to them okay this could represent that maybe they themselves are in, interested in tarot readings or they are interested in some type of mystical art okay um, but again that could just represent that maybe they're just very religious maybe they have very strong christian values or some other values right um now with the eight of swords coming through i'm also getting the idea that this is someone who might have some very like crippling social anxiety or they could just be someone who just suffers with a bit of pessimism every now and then and that just really affects them um overall but yeah um then we have your first kiss will be within one year from now so yeah that's kind of giving us a time frame um maybe this next romantic connection isn't going to be until a little bit later down the line okay so definitely try to be a bit patient, all right? But again, take what resonates. It could be that maybe you are going to run into this person and sparks are going to fly, but it won't be until later on that you guys actually share y'all's first kiss or that you guys end up dating or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's what I am seeing so far. Let's go ahead and move on and see what this romantic encounter is going to entail. So for group three spirit... Can we get some messages here for group three spirit? Can we get some messages? Group three. What is this next romantic encounter going to entail spirit? This next romantic encounter. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of cards. So let's get these situated here wow this is interesting okay okay so we have the reconciliation card coming through we have the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Swords, Sanctuary, the Song of the Sea, and then we have Emotional Drainer. So, there's a couple of messages coming through here, okay? There's a couple messages. The first message that I'm seeing is that whenever you meet this person, it might be after you are going through some type of tense time within a relationship you could be going through a breakup or maybe you're considering breaking up with someone or it might be that you're considering 
maybe you've already broken up with someone but you're considering on whether or not you guys should reconcile or not um and that could be whenever you meet this individual it could be again maybe maybe you just want to go somewhere where you feel safe you want to go to a sanctuary right so that you can sit back and ponder what you should do next whether or not you should get back with this person and it could be whenever you are at this so-called sanctuary that you end up meeting this person and you guys might just strike up a conversation you might start talking to them and that could be whenever you start talking about this past connection or this person who you are currently with and you're going to be asking them asking them like should i reconcile with this person should i get back with them or forgive them or reconcile with them or whatever it may be and this person might end up giving you some advice and i honestly see you guys just becoming friends i see you feeling as though you can rely on them and feeling as though you can just um throw all of your baggage at them and you're just gonna feel very unburdened whenever you are with them as you talk to them and as you listen to what they have to say as well. Um, and I just think that if that is the case, I see you guys just really taking the advice from one another and I see you guys really like building a strong connection with one another. And then from this friendship, I see you guys slowly but surely um, realizing how much y'all care for each other. And then within one year from meeting one another, I see you guys having y'all's first kiss. And then I see you guys maybe even exploring the potential of a serious relationship with one another. So I think that that's really, really sweet to see. That is so beautiful. Now, Another message that is coming through the second message is that this could be someone who you were in a past relationship with. Maybe this person wasn't the best person ever. Maybe they had a lot of soul searching that they had to do. Maybe they had a lot of growth that they had to go through to be able to be the best person for you. And so I see you maybe running into this person somewhere. You could be running into them at a place that maybe you guys both frequent or something like that. I see you guys maybe running into one another and or it could be that maybe you are going to be somewhere where you feel very safe wherever that may be and then this person is going to end up reaching out to you and sending you a message and asking you if you guys would if you would like to talk to them. Um, and so at the end of the day, I just think that for the second part of this reading, uh, the, second, the second message that is coming through is that this could be someone who you were in a relationship with. And if I'm being honest, it may have not have been the best relationship. One or both of you guys might have been like very emotionally draining. And I just think that at the end of the day, this person, whenever you talk to them again, whenever you meet with them, they're going to seem as though they have done a lot of maturing. They're going to seem as though they have grown a lot. And at hey guys, so my camera ended up dying, so I had to put it on the charger for a few minutes, but um, please excuse the fact that my candle has stopped burning. <laughs> But anyways, like I was saying, I just feel like this person has done a lot of growing, a lot of maturing, and now I see them coming up to you and asking for a second chance at y'all's romance, right? And so I do want you to keep this in mind. Now, this could be that your person is coming back to you and asking for a second chance, or it could be that you are the one who is coming back and asking for a second chance. So just keep that in mind. This can go either way. This is a very general reading, so just take it as it resonates. But um, I think at the end of the day, while one of you guys is going to ask for that second chance, I don't think that this second chance is going to be something that happens right away. I definitely think you guys are going to really make the other person work for it. And I see y'all putting one another on this like trial type mode because 
it's easy to say that you've changed right it's so easy for someone to come out of the woodwork and say like yeah i've grown i've matured look at me now i can be your man now okay i can take care of you and i i'm your person right but i don't think y'all are gonna take them at their word i think that you guys are really going to make the other person prove just how much they've grown and I see you guys really keeping an eye on them and just seeing how they are now compared to how they were in the past. And I think that for most, if not all of you guys, that you guys are going to end up passing that test. And I see you guys within one year from now having y'all's first kiss together for the second time, right? Y'all's second first kiss. Okay, um, so yeah, I think that that's very sweet. I think that is very, very cute. And anyways, I just feel like at the end of the day, this next romantic encounter is going to be one that isn't like instantaneous in the way that y'all aren't going to jump each other's bones just like that. I think that it's going to take time and I see you guys really getting to know each other. I see you guys really spending time with each other and then later on having y'all's first kiss and then seeing where this connection will take y'all. So yeah, I definitely think for a lot of you guys, this is definitely your next romantic encounter is going to be with someone who you guys are going to most likely be having a serious connection with if you guys decide to take it to that next step in the future so yeah that is what i'm seeing for you today i hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a really big like and to subscribe to my channel because i post new videos every monday and every friday and i would love to have you stop by this side of terry to begin sometime okay so i love you all so much and i hope that you have a beautiful marvelous and amazing rest of your day friends Mwah. bye